Anyway, we're going to start the first vlog of the day. Um, Reese and I are waiting for uh, Josh, and as per usual, I have prepared Reese some breakfast. It's only wheat of eggs because he hasn't eaten this morning. You've got to look after not your staff, but your colleagues and your friends. And Reese has been so good to actually wash, not quite wipe everything up. Let's see what the rest of the day brings. filming this this morning because those blue lights there underneath this flyover and you've got the Celtic Manor at the top there those blue lights were actually put in for President Obama's visit did you know that? I didn't know that yeah those blue lights over there were put in for President Obama I don't know but they put them in for that, so all that money, and they're still there now, and President Obama's not here. Um, I've left the job now a moment, left the site, and uh, the reason I've left the site is that um, it allows Reese to, um, to grow in stature and, uh, and allow him to grow his experience, and uh, unfortunately, I just can't help it when I'm on site. I just got to get involved. I'm a, I'm a hands-on guy, and um, it's just important for me just to be involved all the time. And uh, if I don't leave the site and just allow him to to have a little go, and you know he's really good, he, and, and he can do it. And I I see a lot of promising reasons without a doubt. And even if he leaves me one day, he goes off and does his own thing, you know. And uh, I'm not sure whether he will or not, whatever reason that is. But um, when he does, I'm sure he'll leave with. A lot of experience and the ability to do it for himself so crack on Reese, good lad. The other day um, somebody had commented on um, my YouTube channel about um, the boys having a bit of banter and said that what's it got to do with landscaping and um, that's fine you know, you can tell you and my response was that it had a lot to do with landscaping they were, um, shows how happy they are in the environment they're working in. So I will without doubt be bringing not just about the work, it's not a brilliant time at the moment to show off any work because this overcast, but we will be showing times like this. For example, this morning now we've gone to a local baguette shop and we have had, and Josh can confirm this now, three soups, tomato soup, yeah. homemade, and it's absolutely beautiful, really, really frang roll. Button. All right, granny roll. And what we've done, just to tone it down a little bit, we've had a tuna roll, but we've had one each. It was a big baguette, but loads of tuna on there. So let's just recap: three suits, three rolls, one tuna roll, a packet of crisp, and Josh has had a what? Portuguese custard tart. Yeah. Oh, look, let me just get out and show you. Excuse my hand, Josh. Sorry. Over there, and he's gonna say, What's this about? But yeah, you're entitled to uh, show up what you do. That's a, a Portuguese custard tart, chocolate tart, please. It's not hard, it's not hard, it's not safe for that. And I have had, because I'm burning the calories, I have had, what was it? A chocolate caramel shortcake. Caramel shortcake, look at that. I'm gonna be eating that in a sec. And all for how much? 13 pounds. 13 quid for three people. Three soups, sandwich, yeah. three cakes. Three Quite healthy, apart from the cakes. Like, you know, so. so, I will be bringing uh, more things about um, what we're doing. It's not just, we will be cooking on site before long. We'll be cooking, uh, I won't say now. Got a very exciting day today, but um, in some respects, that we've got this new product coming. We're going to be reviewing it about six o'clock. Technicians bring it down. I won't say what it is because um, we'll talk about that later. But also, it's a bit of a mixed bag today. Unfortunately, I have to go to a funeral and a uh, young lad that um, took his own life and um, very sad. And uh, it's my, my kid's friend, so uh, my children's friend. And uh, my wife and I are going along there today to support him and um, 
and sometimes you bounce in and out of good things but you've got to stay strong you've got to stay strong for the people around you and uh life is about moving forward and it's not about going backwards so um we'll go and pay our respect today and uh we'll move we'll move on It seems that all of filming is uh, inside the van today, but I can guarantee you it's not been. And uh, the reason I'm bringing this part of the vlog now is that, uh, for once, Josh Barrows had a reaction. I lost my cool. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah, yeah but losing your cool isn't... What did you do? What was your... No, but what was your losing your cool? What, what, what was your... Then, what did you do? Got a bit flustered. No, no, no. Yeah, you stick your fingers up. Yeah. She didn't see how you get flustered. Calm down together. Yeah, and why? Because some putty ass was over the top initially. Yeah. Obviously, the lady yeah. didn't see my indication and decides to indicate. indicate. I know, but anyway, you reacted, it and that's not normal for you. No. Are you feeling tense? I'm very relaxed. I think it was the appearance of the lady, which sort of indicated to me that her personality type lays slow. Didn't see my indication and blaming the world for her problem. Right, okay. Blaming the world. I went in fast though. Yeah. That's right. Blaming the world. How many people blame the world? Isn't because she didn't see the indicator. Like. Mm. Yeah, but we, we've moved on from a bit of like road rage incident. It wasn't road rage, like the like a bit of road narky, I suppose yeah. it is. Like, and uh, all of a sudden we're accusing her of being melodramatic and uh, blaming the world for uh, uh, probably because she was 36 stone I think like yeah. 